my class in the last video we have discussed page number 51 about structure of a sheet first of all i will discuss sheet then today i will discuss structure of a sheet okay
this one cotyledons and baby plant the seed coat is the top and hard outer covering of the seed seed coat seed coat is the top and hard outer covering of the seed it has tiny pores through which the seed gets water okay it protects the embryo inside the seed it protects the embryo means baby plant baby plant inside the seed next the baby plant means embryo the embryo is the baby plant inside the seed baby plant embryo the embryo is the baby plant inside the seed the seed as the seed mature matures mature with the help of sunlight air food and water the baby plant grows into a seedling grows into a seedling okay means seedling baby plant so first of all embryo is the baby plant inside the seed inside the seed as the seed mature with the help of sunlight air water food the baby plant grows into a seedling next point cotyledons the cotyledons are the seed leaves cotyledons are seed leaves are a part of the embryo part of the embryo they lie within the seed of a developing plant they lie within the seed of a developing plant these store food for the new baby plant these means cotyledons store food for the new baby plant for the new baby plant the cotyledons of the seed leaves are part of the embryo part of the embryo they lie within the seed of a developing plant seed of a developing plant this store food for the baby plant then next point kind of seeds kinds of seeds there are two kinds of seeds based on the number of cotyledons number of cotyledons everybody look at the picture one monocot seed another one dicot seed dicot seed like a this type okay this one dicot seed the monocot seed first of all i will discuss monocot seeds monocot seeds contain only a single cotyledon single cotyledon inside the inside them such as seeds of corn wheat and rice this one example of monocot seed the two types of seeds monocot seed and dicot seed monocot seeds only single cotyledons only single cotyledon inside them such as means like example of seeds corn wheat and rice this one example of monocot seeds these seeds usually produce plants with a long and narrow leaves long and narrow leaves then dicot seeds dicot seeds contain two cotyledons mm. two cotyledons inside them such as seeds of bean pea and pulses bean pea and pulses these seeds produce plants with the different shapes and sizes and of leaves sizes of leaves the so, dicot seeds two cotyledons monocot seed one cotyledon everybody remember that monocot seed one cotyledons and dicot seed two cotyledons example of monocot seed wheat rice and corn and example of dicot seeds bean pea and pulses this is usually produce plants with different shapes and size means dicot seed if any question is coming means difference between monocot seed and dicot seed that the right? so first one monocot seed single cotyledon means one cotyledon and dicot seed two cotyledons then next point these seeds 
Euphemia produce plants with long and narrow leaves and diaper seeds produce plants with different shapes and sizes. Then number three, point number three, these seeds, an example of uh, monocot seeds, wheat, corn and rice and example of diaper seeds, pulses, wheat and bean. Okay. Then next point germination. Next page, page number fifty three. Everybody, open your page, page number fifty three. Germination. Germination is the process by which a seed starts to grow into a new plant. Germination. Look at the picture. Four stages here. One seed, then second, then third, then fourth. Fourth stage earlier. Germination is the process by which a seed starts to grow into a new plant. When a seed is thrown into the moist soil, it starts to grow under suitable condition. Under suitable condition means under the ground, moist soil. It starts to grow under the suitable conditions. A seed requires a good quality soil. A seed requires means needs good quality soil, oxygen, water, warm temperature, and sunlight for its growth. How is coming means baby plant it's coming, then seedling is coming. That's why need first of all a good quality need. Means good quality soil, oxygen, warm, uh, warm temperature, and water and sunlight for its growth. Seeds germination takes place in the following steps. Four steps already I have told. First one, look at the picture. First one, the seed takes in water from the soil through a tiny hole present on the seed coat. Present on the seed coat. It makes the seed swell, swell and swell and the seed coat splits, breaks, this is break. Then next point, a tiny root start. Look at the picture, second stage. A tiny root starts to grow deep downwards in the soil while a shoot grows upwards to towards large. Next point, soon a seedling with tiny leaves comes out of the ground. And fourth stage, finally the seedling of a plant grows into a new plant. Okay? So students, everybody read about seeds kind of seeds and red germination also. Next day again I will continue the germination. Now thank you.